ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಕ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದ್ದಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಗೋಪಾಲನ್ ಅನುಭವಂ ಗೋಪಾಲ ವಿಂಶತಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂಸ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕುಟ್ಟಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ದ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಂ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ and the respective meanings in spite of audience lack of gnanam it's basically from the most brilliant compilation by dr v n vedanta desikan swami and he has compiled swami vedanta patrachar and he has also compiled a great vyakhyanam by anbil gopalachar swami and it's the most beautiful manner in which these commentaries swami chinnamo sri ranganada patrachar manipravala vyakhyanam and swami stirukumar sri srinivasa patrachar sri shaili swami stirukundai his vyakhyanam anbil gopalachar vyakhyanam is all delectable and most wonderful so let's enjoy the seventh shlokam today parivartita kan dharam bhayena smita pulla dhara pallavam smarami vidapitva nirasakam kayoschite vipuloluh kalakarshakam kumaram swami is reflecting on gopalan who was tied down tied to a mortar the ural by yashoda the way he his lips quivered he had a scopious tears welling in his eyes and he was so scared and he was tied down but why why should he why should he take so much of loneliness saulabhyam so even namalwar was so much overwhelmed with this saulabhyam of being tied down by an illiterate cowherd mother pattudai adiyavarku eliyavan pirargalukku ariya vittagan malarmagal virumbu namarum peralarigan matturu kadai vennai kalavinil urayilade aappundu எத்திரம் உரலினோடு இணைந்திருந்து இயங்கிய எளிவே எத்திரம் எத்திரம் ஹவு ஹவு யூ அலோட் யுவர் செல் டு பி டைட் டவுன் டு அ மோட்டர் சர்வேஸ்வரன் ஜெகத் ரட்சகன் ஜெக அஸ்ம அகில ஜெகன் பிதா அண்ட் யூ வை ஷுட் யூ வை ஷுட் யூ கோ டவுன் டு தேட் வை சோ மச் துக்கம் i am unable to comprehend in my mind your your extent of saulabhya saushilya swami mentions here bhayena with fear with shiver parivartita kandharam he he turns his neck to see behind as to who is coming with the with the fears fears fear in his eyes at the same time smita pulladara pallavam smita pulladara pallavam that that lightning is smiles that smile is so good that he smiles with the mandahasam the the tender soft rosy lips slightly blooms with that smile it's so so uh, such a feast to the eyes to look at kayoschit vidapitva nirasakam because of brahma vid apacharam without actually naming who it is there were there were two people who became the tree so vipula ulukala karshakam the big 
the big mortar which was as tall as kannan is he was tied down to what he did bhagavan krishnan he he looked at yashoda after tying him down yashoda went and started doing her daily chores he went into the kitchen so this is in the backyard so krishna what he did seeing that yashoda is not around he started crawling with the mortar tying down to his back he started crawling towards the trees and he saw a gap between the two trees so once he saw the gap between the two trees he wanted to go through that so that he could get rid of the rope which is tied down between him and the mortar however the mortar belongs to his father nanda nanda gopan he is all he should not be any harmed nor should the mortar be broken the rope should not be untied however he needs to get out of this tied down so because of there is no pratyaksha anubhavam vedanta desika enjoys this vision of kutti kannan being tied down to a mortar and start crawling so that enjoyment is described in this beautiful shlokam i meditate on that child gopala i i have my i contemplate and i do dhyanam on that gopala who dragged the ural the mortar to which he was tied down by his by his angered mother yashoda because she wanted to teach him a lesson for stealing the butter as yashoda went away he checked around to make sure that she was out of sight and pulled the tied mortar to the garden he was he was scared that she would see she would spot him being being pulling i mean crawling towards the towards the backyard at the same time he smiled with a sense of accomplishment that his mother has not seen and his lips became bloomed were rosy with happiness joy smita pulladara pallavam smarami the beautiful line which swami desikan enjoys he dragged the mortar further and went between the two maruda trees it seems once there were kubera's son and these two kubera's sons they were like nalakuparan and manigrivan kubera's sons were drunk after drinking they were playing with the stree with the women and they were they were enjoying and that time sage narada came they did not even notice narada's coming and they were shamelessly dancing with the women so sage narada was angered and he cursed because he was not even honored he was not welcomed by these two the sons of kubera so he cursed them saying you both will become trees and they became however he also added how the curse would get cured there will be a krishna avataram and because of krishna your this curse will get cured and these two have become the maruta trees in nandagopas palace and when krishna went through the small gap between the two trees the mortar the huge mortar could not pass through the krishna passed through so because he went through and he started applying force the tree the two trees f- were were felled by that the shock of the collision with the mortar broke the two trees and the sons of kubera who stood as the trees in the in in nandagopas palace got released from their curse and regained their ori- original bodies i offer my namaskarams obeisances 
to the blessed child who freed the sons of Kubera from their curse. Swami Desikan is, is so overwhelmed with the Saulabhya Saushilyam of Krishna. Yettinam Uralinodi Yenaindinindi Yengiya Yelive in the lines of Swami Namalwar. When Namalwar visualized this scene, how he was tied down to a motor by illiterate cowherd mother. He swooned for six months. And that's the Anubhavam of Saint Namalwar as well as our Acharya Saruvabhavan Swami Desikan. Overwhelmed with emotion for, for being the ultimate of Saulabhya Saushilyam. So the Bala Gopala, the Kutti Kannan drags the Ural. It, it is quite heavy. And he turns his neck behind to check whether the mother is coming. Bhayena. So, Parivartita Khandaram Bhayena. But, however, he's, he has a small, blo fully blossomed smile. Smita Pulladara Pallavam Smarame on his tender, soft, rosy lips. So, Swami Desikan says, I recall that he is still a boy, too small to pull such a large weight. But he went through the trees which and freed them. So, Smarami, the thought of the Swami Desikan is that, is that this Shaulabhya Shaushilyam, even when he is born as a human child, the contemplation is on his, is on his Shaulabhyam. Shaushilyam, easy accessibility to the cowherd folks. The smile is a very significant feature. You people do not know what I can achieve even in this Saulabhya state. I am going to liberate two devas who got cursed by sage Narada from their curse, from their tree existence now. Look at it. And that's what he smiles. So he shows his paratvam in the ultimate, in the ultimate Ascension of Shaulabhyam, Shaushilyam. He tells us that he alone can liberate. He will do it regardless of what his birth is, when he chooses. Even if he were, were in a bounded, bounded state like what he was tied down to. So, Kayoschit, the names of the two are irrelevant. That is why Kayoschit. Because of Brahma Vida Apacharam, Bhagavata Apacharam, they were cursed. So, now the two committed the Apacharam when Narada saw and cursed them to turn into trees because they were having no clothes and they were enjoying, fully drunk. That is why Narada cursed them. So, the wonderful sloka which essentially means that Swami Desikan is overwhelmed at the Saulabhya Saushilyam of the omniscient Sarveshwaran being tied with a, with a mortar and states that he can only contemplate about the Ululaka Baddha Krishnan, the one who is tied down. And he could not dare describe in detail because his heart is pained to see that Kutti Kannan is being tied down to a motor with the tears welling in his eyes and quivering lips. However, he has a small smile in his lips. So, Swami Desikan appears to say that I shudder over the thought of you being bound to a big mortar by, by that cowherd mother Yashoda. Adiyan, Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Kavitarki Kasimahaya Kalyana Gunashaline, Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Guravenamaha, Danyosmi.